Okay, so let's move across to the on-chain side. So we've certainly established that the derivatives are a key part of this puzzle, but potentially not the entirety of the puzzle. Um, so let's really look into the on-chain space and see what we can divulge from that. So we're going to start with the true market mean price. Now, this is actually a model that we developed uh, alongside ARK Invest as part of our coin time economics research. It really is an update to the realized price. It's what we, as, at the very least, believe is the most accurate cost basis model for active investors. We exclude lost coins. We exclude Satoshi, all of the early miners. It's a tool that really captures the cost basis for investors who are active in the market rather than the entire uh, coin supply. And what we've seen is we have broken through this level convincingly. Again, this is also co-located around $28,000. So that really was a level. You can see it found resistance through most of our market so far, that kind of mid-cycle baseline. We are now firmly above it. So the average Bitcoin investor who is active in the market is now firmly back in profit. So at least from my perspective as, you know, as someone who spends a lot of time with on-chain data, to me, we are now truly above the inverted commas realized price. The general view of the realized price, the classic realized price is the average cost basis for the market. To my eye, we are now actually above that level. So back in 2015, the realized price was certainly much more relevant because we just didn't know how many coins were lost and it was a much younger space. Now I think we have the tools and certainly the uh, the rigor behind understanding that this is most likely the cost basis for the market, which also corresponds with the cycle floor around that 30K level. Um, so being above it is going to be a psychological anchor for many investors. We may start to see investor sentiment shift, change, and certainly move because more and more people are now going to be in the green.